What happens during immersion is interesting. The heart senses that there's too much blood running through the system. And so it basically says, we've got an excess of circulatory blood volume. We've got to do something with that. And so what it does are really three major things. It basically tells renin, antidiuretic hormone, and aldosterone to drop their levels. And all of those hormones tend to hang on to sodium. So if I drop the hormones that hang on to sodium, I increase sodium excretion. And it tells atrial natriuretic factor and prostaglandin E to increase. And at the same time, basically, those are hormones that excrete sodium. And if so, I'm bumping out more sodium. And what happens during immersion, basically, is that I increase my creatinine clearance. My kidneys become more functional. I start excreting potassium and even more so excrete sodium. This basically color in the back here. And of course, where sodium goes, water follows. And so I increase urinary output during immersion. And that happens very quickly on immersion. And you'll see it every time you're working with a class of patients. This is a study that was done on chronic kidney disease. The ancient Greeks and Romans understood that with chronic kidney failure, what you want to do is to put somebody in water. We don't do that anymore. Well, here's what happens basically in the study of about 25 congestive failure patients uh, with about the same number of controls. And what they found at the end of 12 weeks of exercise in moderate or chronic renal failure patients is that peak VO2 increased only a little bit. However, their peak muscle load increased significantly. Serum creatinine dropped, that is, their renal failure started getting better. Their glomerular filtration rate increased. Their urinary protein output cut by almost a half during this same period of study. And their lipro, uh, lipid peroxidase, which is a measure of a serum inflammatory hormone that basically goes with kidney failure, dropped dramatically. So these are really significant factors. These individual chronic renal failure patients improved with water exercise. 